don't just love a Prince song, uh, we also can't resist a good Prince story. Uh, back in 2015, Saturday Night Live, uh, when all out celebrating their 40th anniversary, the audience and after party were as star-studded as the show. But the one guy everyone seems to remember being there was, that's right, Prince. Uh, the thing is, SNL cast members all have a sort of different take on hanging out with him after the show and maybe even how the night went. Take a look. I heard about the huge 40th anniversary SNL party, and it sounds like the most epic party in all of the lands. It was an insane party. I mean, it was the party that only exists like works of fiction. It was so incredible. Oh, God, I have such little memory. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Questlove said, Prince is tear, and I was like, Prince, if you're there, uh, I'd love to have you come up and sing a song. My wife and I were weaving through the crowd right as Prince was on stage. And he was floating across the room. Prince, Prince, Prince. Prince. I feel like Prince was there, or he went into the kitchen and then left. I love that everyone has a different version of Prince. Oh my God. <laughs> what is their story like, that he performed? Like, what did actually happen with Prince at this party? <laughs> so, the truth is in there somewhere. Uh, probably made a little foggy by a number of substances we cannot mention on daytime TV, unless you live in LA. <laughs> One of the most, um, let's say, enlightening versions of this classic print story came from Leslie Jones. Wait for the ending because, well, you'll see. See, that's you're the only person that didn't talk about prints. See? What's your print story? Oh, baby, let me tell you, and this is a <laughs> true story. Okay, I love Prince. Oh my God, all my life, child. Prince brought me into the life. Prince brought me into the world. I knew Prince when he was naked on the horse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you know that's the real <laughs> prince right there? The prince y'all see, that's the, that's the prince after the horse. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, when he came to SNL, I was like, oh my God, I gotta meet Prince. So we went to the rehearsal, yeah. and I'm just sitting there going, oh my God, Prince is in front of me. This is incredible. So I'm standing in the back, <laughs> and at that, that week, Chris Rock was the host. So I'm standing oh, wow. in the back. I'm standing in the back, full, uh, you know, uh, some hawk and everything. All you can see is my teeth in the dark, because I'm just like... <laughs> Prince! <laughs> so he comes off the stage and starts heading towards me. And it's like he's coming towards me. And I'm like... Prince is headed towards me. Prince is headed towards me. Prince is headed towards me. So he, cut, he gets right... He gets, like, about right here, and you could see in his face that he made a mistake. Oh, no! So he still, but he's very sweet, so he, stepped, come, he kept coming, <laughs> and he, he grabs my hand, and I said, you thought I was Chris Rock, didn't you? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> you did not and look like went, Chris Rock. He went. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, my God. Yes, I did. He owned it. Oh my God, you don't look any like Chris Rock. I do in the dark. Oh my, God. God. oh my God, I love you so much. It's just that incredible. <laughs> and that's incredible, I don't know. He's gonna oh kill God. me for that. He's no, gonna kill me. I love though that he, you saw in the, the oh. Oh, his face was like. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Today, we're bringing you Prince and other stories worth saving. As you saw earlier, people at the SNL 40th anniversary party had different opinions of how the night went down, um, especially <laughs> once Prince floated in on a magnificent purple mist. Jimmy Fallon, looking at you. <laughs> Just look at this. I would say one of my biggest, most fun nights we ever had was the uh, 40th anniversary of the show. And yeah. Uh, at the end, at the after party, we just had an empty stage with instruments all set up. No band booked. No one's booked. And one at a time, everyone just grabbed guitars, drums, started their own band, and yeah. everyone got on stage. And Aykroyd started this party, and he called me up, and it was him, it was Jim Belushi and Paul McCartney. And they're like, uh, where's what Jimmy Fallon? Where's Jimmy? What? And I got up, and he tapped me. He goes, all right, kid, this is your turn now. And gave me the mic, and I ran it. Like a human karaoke box, like a you, <laughs> and I, I was like anyone who was in town. I saw Taylor. I go, Taylor, do you want to get up and sing something? She's like, Yep. Taylor got up, and sang some. Ariana got up and sang something. Oh my god. Uh, Blondie, B52s. This was the uh, this party. This is the party that everyone was at. Get ready for the end. Yeah. So it's everybody you can think. Open with Paul McCartney. 
close with. Just what do you take, close with? Take after, a wild guess. For, oh wait, no, I've heard Prince. Prince. Yeah. Okay. So Prince is the guy with this party. So I, we're on stage. And Chris Rock says to me, hey, Prince is here, by the way. If you probably ask nicely, he might come up and do something. I don't know. And I was like, I just grabbed the mic, like, Prince, are you here? Prince. And then the crowd parted. It was like a purple cloud of smoke. And I swear his feet weren't touching the ground. His, his legs were just kind of floating, like, and he kind of floated. He kind of floated up, and he floated up towards me, and I go, wow, I gotta embrace the moment. It's happening, you know? Um, this might be death. This is what death is. I don't know. I don't, maybe it's life. I don't know. He came up, he pulled out these long gloves. I took them, I handed him a guitar, and he sang Let's Go Crazy at like four in the morning in New York City. Can I tell you? <laughs> can I tell you my favorite part of that story is he took off his long gloves? <laughs> Hey, that's how you know the story is real. Long gloves. Yeah. And he was like, hold these. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, exactly. That's I held his long gloves. Oh, my God. Yeah, um, your life is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I have some good moments. Hold my long moments. gloves, says Prince. I got the um, same with Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> this hour, we have been sharing Prince and other stories worth saving. Uh, back when Max Greenfield was on New Girl, he found himself on stage next to Prince. Yep, nobody would know what to do. You'd freak. All of us would be sweating. Um, here's how that went down for Max. On New Girl, you guys had Prince as a guest, and we love Prince stories. I've heard. You, you have no idea. Everybody has a Prince story. It's like, when this show ends one day, we're just going to put this all together for one episode. Everybody has a Prince story. So what's your Prince story? Well, obviously Prince did an episode New of New Girl. Yeah. We were with Which him. Which is so cool. Uh, I, well, yeah. you know, it was, it really is. That's exactly what it was. You didn't do, like, TV shows. No, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. It was... Forever, we can point to the fact that he did the show. Prince did like, your show. That was cool. on a cool show. Oh, it wasn't cool? Oh, it, really? Because no. Prince was on it. Prince came on it. Yeah. Um, so he was, we were with him for two nights. Um, and I guess my best story from those two nights was, you know, the premise of the episode was that we all go to a party at Prince's house. And he, at the very end of the episode, is up on stage and sort of DJing. He didn't want to be playing guitar. He wanted to be DJing. And then he had written a song for the show what? that, yes, that he and Zoe uh, Deschanel sing at the end of the episode. Oh. And so it's him and Zoe up on stage. And Zoe's sort She's of like. She's terrified. <laughs> she that's where she she lives in that area. Okay, she's that's a, fine. That, that's a good zone. I live for her. in the musical area, and I would be terrified. Yeah, she was. I, I mean, I don't know, but she she you couldn't tell if she was okay. terrified. Well, she's an actor. So okay. she's you know <laughs> she's center stage, and the idea of the of of the moment was that they were going to pull the gang you know up on stage. So we're coming up on stage, and it was the first time as an actor I was like, what do I do here? <laughs> I don't know how anyone would play this. And so I'm like walking up and I, I really like took a moment to go, forget about the show for a second. Prince is right there. Yeah. And I was as close to Prince as anybody in this lineup. He's like DJing right here. And I said, just be present, be with Prince be and with experience Prince. this. <laughs> and the song's going and we're up on stage and you know, we're supposed to be having fun. And I start just dancing as I would <laughs> to the music. How, how and are I you? really let I really let it I let myself be free. <laughs> and at some point I looked over and Prince and I made eye contact. And he looked at me like, Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> I was hoping he would be like, you should stop. No, no. <laughs> and I looked at him like. Yeah. <laughs> and I've seen the footage, and it is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're just I could <laughs> never even recreate the dance oh, that I was doing on there, but my body was moving in the a way that you. That you, that. Unleashed. It was, un, it was Unleashed. just, it was the purest form of movement <laughs> that I have ever experienced. <laughs> Next to Prince. <laughs> That. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. he, he just dials you down to your truth. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes that truth is, uh, it's tough to um, see. But it's unleashed and we like it. It's raw. <laughs>